Calibrate the electrical output of the extensometer with your testing equipment. Model 3442 extensometers are supplied with knife edges and wire forms to work with the range of specimens. Install the wire forms and knife edges to match your specimen. The printed instruction manual covers the details for this. When changing knife edges, ensure that all components that are held down by the knife edge screws, such as gauge length spacers, are reinstalled in the correct position and order. Adjust the wire forms for the specimen. The wire forms should be parallel to the knife edges with the extensometer attached to the specimen. When using notched wire forms with round specimens, some fine adjustment of either the top or bottom wire form may be necessary to align the extensometer with the specimen's test axis. Mount the extensometer on the specimen. Using two hands to open the wire forms is preferred, but you can use one hand if space is limited. Ensure that the extensometer is in the desired axial position on the specimen and that the extensometer's measuring axis is aligned with the specimen's test axis. Move or suspend the extensometer's cable if necessary so that it doesn't touch the test grips. Rock the extensometer on the bottom knife edge to allow the extensometer's top arm to rest on the gauge length pin. This sets the gauge length. Take care that the bottom knife edge does not move from the intended position on the specimen. Remove the gauge length pin. When testing hard and smooth materials, it may be necessary to press the extensometer onto the specimen to ensure that the knife edges don't move when removing the gauge length pin. You can press on the extensometer's cover. If knife edge movement is suspected, reinstall the gauge length pin and repeat the rocking and pin removal process.